It's a shield grab. It's gonna be a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. Ganon's has Rob on the defensive. There's not much he can do outside of like maybe a lucky like down smash, but you don't want to trade a down smash with Ganon's fair. Yeah, like, definitely not. That's like that's pretty bad. So what do you think? Um, I think that. I think that most of this match is going to be Monk Monk trying to space out aerials, uh, doing a lot of float cancel stuff like he does, yeah. and Gendo's going to be stuffing it. Uh, so, having a landmine of top on the bottom, catching him with lasers, or um, even doing like laser side B, or like if he like ends up on the top, just like side B, and then just like being able to shove off and get space that way. Yeah, and then maybe a grab, awesome. maybe something make, else. Do I have my game in losers yet? Yeah, so like, one thing I wonder if this is going to get exploited too much is, uh, like from Gendo, is the boost side with the up air. Because that's a great way to stuff, like, the uh, Ganon floating. Yeah. To see right here, he's he's in the air right now. He's yeah. on a platform, but he, he's holding center stage. Mm -hmm. uh, so, he doesn't have his top out. I don't agree with that, but... He, he oh, wait, no, charged this a little is, bit. Oh, this is hand warmer. Not sure what this... Yeah, this is... <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay, <laughs> this isn't the match. I was like, this is a very careful like, neutral this is, right yeah, here. Very, this the, the neutralist. Okay, there Neither we go. Neither one of them wants to commit to a move. All right, and there we go. Boost fair. Geno is so boost fair is super good. Yeah, from <laughs> Rob, and then you you got like boost fair to like down smash, just to make it safe. Mm -hmm. All right. Or jabs. If you oh, could, yeah. if you could space out the jab, then it's super super good. Yeah. Uh, all right, so Rob's kind of pushing him towards the edge. Ooh, okay. Gets center control. Now he has Rob on the defensive. Mm -hmm. Tries to come down with that nair. Doesn't quite reach, but it resets the situation in Gendo's favor, actually. Yeah. Tries for the drop down fair. Doesn't quite get it. Ooh. It's a good choice. Okay, that Ooh. was really good right Blazer there. Laser almost did it. Uh, Preemptive forward smash. Misses it. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. Nice. Oh, clipped him. Right. Got him with the laser. Took his float, I think. And probably his jump as well. Mm -hmm. I can't do much here. Alright. We're in a tight space here, so we're just trying to maneuver. Uh, yeah. So, Is that good? I think we're going to stay there. Okay. So. Rob is trying to get back, recovers high, Ganon can't really get that much leverage, like that much height that quick, <coughs> so it's a pretty good option from uh, Gendo. That was interesting right there, after that down B, I could, like, I'm pretty sure that was just a guaranteed grab yeah. for Rob, but he ended up spot dodging. But down B has a lot more lag than you ever think it does. Ganon's? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's, it's not, I don't really think it's that good. Uh, it's... Like, I think, honestly, if you're going to use it, you want to use it, like, where you're off stage so that they can't get a grab on you, but still, it's like, even then, you're off stage, you're in a bad spot. Yeah. It's kind of like Wario side B. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. Chris and I are just the same people, we just main different characters. Exactly. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, excellent fair right there from Kendo. I, that's really good. That's, like, that's the maximum mileage out of Rob's fair right there. Ooh, that was really nice by Monk Monk right there. He had the, uh, he had a B reverse uh, side B. So yeah. like he just like went right and then was just going left instantly. Ooh, okay. All right, so he's trying to recover low, and fair, he has one boost left. He's done. No, yeah. he used it. He did right and then instantly up right after. So yeah, not quite. So okay. So really even game so far. Yeah, Gendo seems to be he's pretty content about holding stage control, which is really good. Mm -hmm. uh, I just I really like to see some more top usage. Yeah. Um, but that's that's up to personal preference, you know, whatever optimal, yada yada yada. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it would give him a lot more movement options, especially where you can really abuse that against Ganon. Oh yeah, especially just kind of like throwing it out. I'm pretty sure it clanks with down B. Yeah, honestly. And you know, <laughs> Which... like glide tossing and glide tossing in the air, get a little extra leverage that way. Yeah. Okay, so he puts it out there. And he's Ooh, Ooh, good that was some SDI. crazy ASDI or SDI or whatever we want to call it, but he made it back on stage. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you want me to finish commentating? Yeah. This is uh, game one. Yeah. All right. So he's coming down. Comes down with a fair. 
Ganda was Ooh. shielding, hoping to get a shield grab, but shield grabbing fair from Ganda is not a safe option. Oh, yeah, okay. Punishes with the down smash. Unable to get anything off of that, sadly. Ooh. Boost right into that, and he gets back to stage. Yeah, he didn't quite pull out the uh, pull out the forward air enough. All right. Hmm. All right. So, yeah, Gendo's he's. All right. Well, I think I gotta go do my mat. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, like you saw Gendo, he was like recovering low a lot, yeah. whereas Ganon's like forward air just is a giant arc, like in front of him and almost below him. Yeah. Unless you go like really high, it'll cover. Yeah, Most of that. It'll pretty, and so, like coming down with like as a Rob coming down with like a, a boost fair or boost nair or something, is probably your like craziest fastest option to get down. Okay, he's going the ditto. Mm. I don't know so, if I agree with this. I I'm not sure what this is, but we'll see. Because Gendo does have a Ganon, but I don't know. He was playing it super well. Oh gosh. Oh, oh no, okay, so oh. they want they want this match to go over quick. They oh, want it to end quickly. I guess. Alright. So I don't know about this. Because Chris does this ditto a lot, right? He's I I feel like he's pretty pretty secure about it. Yeah. Like in friendlies and everything. Yeah. So we're I am getting us hard in trouble getting down to the ooh. There we go. We uh, that down B almost got the spike on him. Yeah. Yeah, Geno's having trouble like you know, setting up his his like little his stage control and attacks. Yeah. You gotta know your move set and oh my okay, <laughs> three back three airs. Three short back airs. And all right, okay, <laughs> neat. <laughs> Stomped his foot. Yeah. Uh, like if you did come any closer, I'm gonna kick you. Yeah. The sour spot. Ooh, uh, got his double the, jump. The Tipperman. So, Gendo, he's doing a little bit more, like, kind of short hop, back air, short hop, up air sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Gendo is definitely a spacing out player. He is. He's not pushing. Okay, and he somehow gets the other way, the other grab, the other way. Yeah, I come back to the stage. I think as he up uh Gendo barely crossed him up with the down B, and then, like, he grabbed his foot or something. Yeah. I don't know. Because it, it traded. It had the, he got the grab armor on it. Yeah. You know, it's giving a lot of respect to uh, Monk Monk's shield. Mm. Whereas, I think as Ganon, you really don't have to respect people's shields too much. Uh, yeah, because I feel like you could just do like short hop back airs or something like or that, like, and then like you can pressure them super well. And, yeah. Or even so, like jabs yeah. or something. Right. But well, that was a ballsy attempt. Yeah, I disagree with it. I, don't, I feel I like feel like he could have gotten a little bit better with Rob, but that's okay. Yeah, because I feel like Gendo could have gone to like a wider stage or something like that, and then have gotten. Uh, 